is a huge episode for our Arkansas Dynasty as it is go time. We have rivalry games going on and we need to get it going here in the SEC as we got LSU at home, the battle for the golden boot amongst two other big matchups. As following the LSU game, we'll head to Starksville to take on Mississippi State and the Bulldogs and then back home to finish against a ranked Ole Miss squad. Now, taking a look at the recruiting board, again, no big huge changes overall for the guys we want to get. There is this guy, David Magnifico, that I added to the board simply because of his name. Uh, but again, we, we got a verbal commit from Emmanuel Maddox at QB. He's a scrambler, 6'3", 206. He's not bad. As you see some of the scouting here, 93 throw powers, pretty dang solid. The speed at 96, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this guy may be somebody to keep an eye on from Chattanooga, Tennessee. A good third three-star commit we got here. And as we keep looking, we also have still a couple guys here that we're hoping will sign sooner rather than later with Tyler Mandarino, which we lead, and the big one, Alex Kroom, who we also lead on. Now, at receiver, unfortunately, we lost out on Huckaba. He is gone to OU, so we can remove him from our board. He's out of here, but we're in the hunt for bunting, session, coffee, and Johnson, hopefully we can get on his list soon enough as well. Tubbs we're still leading on. For our offensive tackles, we're leading for both of these two talents. We're trailing briefly behind North Texas and Texas Tech for John Free. Espinessa, we are leading at right guard. Center, we already have the verbal commit. Defensive end, we are leading for two of them. Hook, we are trailing just behind Arizona. But he's going to be coming soon. Hopefully we'll have a good visit for him. Defensive tackle, trying to get on the board for Jose Santoso and Derek Parker. We are leading on outside backers. We are leading for Willett, trying to climb the board for Ryan Hawley. And then, of course, secondary, we're leading for Leangelo Body, trying to get on the board for Carmona. And we're leading for Hardman as Clowney we're leading for and Luck. So we got a lot of targets. We are on top and leading but we hopefully can land them down with some big wins in today's episode. So without further ado, let's get into the golden boot. Number 16 LSU heading to Fayetteville. And here we are from Fayetteville. Again, all these are on Heisman difficulty, which has been pretty competitive. And obviously we've lost a few games, but it hasn't been just un in impossible yet. Sure, the passing kind of is difficult and defense is hard to stop teams that really get in the flow. But we're here at Fable to stripe out for this rivalry game battle for the Golden Boot, getting ready to take on these LSU Tigers. Let's go. Again, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, subscribe, hit that bell, and comment below. Uh, we have other stuff going on as well with our road to glory, so this is the place you want to see it. We're trying to bring you all we can. So here we go, the battle for the Golden Boot. LSU dominates this series, and they're currently 1-2 straight. And Meyer has been on one this year. He has been outstanding. So we need to get after him early and try to shut down this pass attack. Here we go, second and nine. You can bring a blitz here. LSU just got so many good players, but we're there to stuff this one. Loss of three. Let's go. And I think this team, honestly, we play a whole lot better when we're playing teams that play a little less tempo. Uh, they're going screen pass, and that's not going to get there. Fourth down, we get the stop. This is probably one of the most hyped atmospheres we're going to see this season for the Hogs at home. Taking on a rival at LSU. I wish it was a night game, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to get a block there. Pick up another one off the edge, and Jackson is wheeling and dealing early. And Taylor Green, he's been a solid quarterback addition for us here out of Boise. I, th I think he's fit in well here. He hit Haas there underneath to pick up seven. Now, I want to show you all really quick. We are, yes, playing on Heisman here. You see Heisman, we have accelerated clock, 20-second minimum play clock. Go straight into our next play, so you know there's nothing... Is she going on? Let's do a uh, let's go go ahead and show you the whole play action. Let's go stick. See if we can get something here with stick. We do have Armstrong playing off a little bit right there. Let's hit the stick pad in the Haas though, and he's gonna pick up that first down easily. So I know Haas, he's a really good tight end. He hasn't been our primary target this year. That has really been really just a mixed group. We we've been going all over the place, and we're gonna hit the spin move, Jackson. Getting going downfield, hits the sideline down to the 17, 31 yards from Jaquindon Jackson on the ground. And we're going to go in that little inside cross action here. Just try to play a little safe. Don't want anything too crazy. We're going to lead Satenia. He's going to be able to easily pick that up first and goal for the Hogs. 
So it's third and goal from the six after a loss on that play. Need to get something here. And we're going to step up in the pocket. Taylor Green, though, not able to get anything going. And fourth down. So credit given to where it's due. As LSU does their thing, we're going to kick this to the uprights and take the early 3-0 lead. Hopefully the zone stuff will, will really pay off well for us. Here we go. Second and seven. Gregory playing on this line. We got They got so much space in that pocket to throw. It's insane the amount of pressure that we didn't get. And here we go. Third and eight. Razorbacks defense needs to stand up and go here. Pressure coming, and they throw out in the flats, and nobody's home on the running back who just torched us. Here we are, first and ten. Play action, and pick it. It's going to be a house call, Robinson. He jumps the, the route, and we are going to make this thing 10. Oh, is Nuffmeyer trying to track us down? Nah, nah. Let's go into the house. Marquise Robinson and the Hogs take a bow. And this place is rocking after that pick six. We have some momentum. First and 10 and play action again. Landon Jackson coming in. It's another one. Slaughter pressure in the pocket from Landon Jackson. And we may have almost, almost back-to-back -back pick sixes. Slaughter leading the Hogs down to the one. And the pressure from Landon Jackson making all the difference there on that play. You couldn't have asked for a better start, Hog fans as now we're gonna make it a three score lead 17 nothing after the pat as jackson touches pay dirt so they get their first first down in a bit here and now nussmeyer can try to settle down after those interceptions they're gonna bubble out he gets a decent block sets the edge breaks a tackle and gets across midfield to the 41. third and 11 the hogs need to stop going inside pressure coming and incomplete fourth and 11. 17-3, your Razorbacks lead. Here we go. We're going to go with a little mountain swing action here on this. And he, oh, I saw I saw him get open there late. We're going to take off, though, with Taylor Green. Get out of the way, ref. Slide. Slide. And I should probably just trust my defense here on this and just kick it away, but I'm going for it here. And we got a slant. We got Armstrong, and I threw a pick. He didn't get the separation I thought he was going to get on that. Man. All right, so I want to show you what I saw on that play. So I saw right here. He got the inside hook right there, that step on the slant, and immediately, I'm, I mean, you'd probably throw that ball too. Right there, you get that, and then he... I guess I didn't get enough air under it. I don't know what happened, but we've got the step, and then it's just like he... I don't know, weird play. So it's a first and 10 after the pick. Now momentum for the Tigers. And we just need to settle down, and that's that's not going to cut it. Please, tackle. God bless. We're going to try to play with some tempo here now. We're going to try to hurry up, and they're going to bubble out, and he breaks one. Touchdown. That gummit, man. That gummit. And if we got pressure there, if Armstrong can beat him, and he did, we're going to haul it up. Go. Go, Armstrong. Tag him on Twitter, let him know. No, down at the one. <laughs> so we're down at the one as Armstrong almost hit the hell and got in the end zone. But we're going to do it with DeBenion anyways. And we got one back. And now it's a two-score lead. Here we go, 24-10 Hogs. Just keep bringing pressure to Nussmeyer. He has not been super comfortable in that pocket today. And part of it is that. <laughs> Clark, you have to take that. Third and 12. Please. Gotta get pressure. He's chunking that up in the end zone. User. And we're gonna see if we can do something. I should have just taken it. We are rolling defensively, ladies and gentlemen. Robinson, do your thing. And Nussmeyer, he's been just cakewalking this year, and then he ran into our hogs on a wrong day. This is Got all the kind of feeling of when the Hogs played Texas a couple years ago. Y'all remember. Y'all remember. So nearing the two-minute warning, likely the last play before that two-minute warning. We're going to fake the jet sweep. They'll play action here on this. And we're going to see if we can get them to come back to the ball. It's picked. That's a mistake. That's my second now of the game. So picks flying around here. And again, that's just me being stupid with the ball, trying to do too much. And I should just be... Give me another. What? How? How did this thread the needle? Let me see this. I was usering 10. Oh my lord, no way. It went straight through his hands. 
Where are my hands at right here? Are we behind or in front? Did it just, just miss us? Oh my gosh. Perfect ball. Wow. Third and ten. Watch here, watch here, watch that. Yes, pick it. Gregory, the big man, with a pick. As it went off an offensive line minute, we pick it up. We're everywhere. Oh, boy. Give me this. Go. Oh, get it, Armstrong. Boom, baby. <laughs> we'll walk it in. Armstrong is absolute money here in Fayetteville, ladies and gentlemen. And it's all hogs here in the first half. First and 10, Nussmeyer is reeling, He's trying to fight for his life right now out here. And deep ball and Switzer's beat, and that's a touchdown. Yep. That's okay. They got it back. Humility. Gotta learn it. Yeah, I don't like it. We're gonna take more shots. I keep seeing this press coverage, and I just keep saying we gotta go to him. That's on his inside, though. And okay, there's 30. They got cover two back. And I'm curious, what time in this game do y'all use? I'm using 11 minute quarters, as y'all saw earlier. 11 minute quarters with 20 second uh, clock runoff. So every clock will start at 20. What works best for you to get the most realistic game stats? I haven't really tested it, so this may not be realistic compared to what some others are using. But, you know, I, I'm i curious to know what y'all are using as they go to the little touch pass here. He got an edge, he's got a block, and he's going to break an arm tackle and get to midfield. So let me know what some of the times y'all are using down in the comment section for the most realistic snap counts and stats for simulation like Dynasty football. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get him. Blow him up there. Yes, no, no game. So now let's use trying to go tempo a little bit. And this is something I haven't seen very much this game until now. Maybe that was an adjustment they're trying to make at the locker room is tempo offense. And here we go. Third down and three. Proud is hyped. Proud is pumped. And I'm sure I was trying to get there to get that. Get him. Tackle him. First and ten for LSU. We need to get a stop here. They got a tight end in the backfield. Is that a tight end? Am I, am I wrong? No, why are you backpedaling? Why are you still backpedaling right there? You could have jumped that for a pick. So LSU's now got some life, and I'm nervous about it. I'm going to be honest with you guys, because now here we are, third down. I'm going to run up the middle. We have all that room to work with here for Taylor Green. You better believe we're going to take that. All right, first and 10 for us. Wise open, and I underthrew it. That gum it, man. Seven picks between me and Nesmeyer out here. Seven. So a second and three now after the seventh turnover of this game combined. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're tied. We're tied. Are you serious? Are you serious? This may be the most Razorback game I've ever seen in my life. I know it's true, too. Oh, Satanga. Get down the sideline. Do you have enough speed? No. That's a huge gain, and we needed it. Well, get that great return. What do we have the show for? Third and long. Third and ten. Here we go. Okay. Go, Dominion. Go, Dominion. Get downhill, Dominion. Oh, fourth and two. What do I do? This is stupid, I think. I'm going for it instead of taking the three. I don't know if this is smart or not. I'm just I'm rolling with my gut. Go. Go, go, go. And chunk it down to Ben Jackson. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Second and ten. And we're going to pull on the handoff. And Taylor Green is going to make it a touchdown. And the Hogs, just like that answer back. Let's go. I mean, Nuss Myers looked good. He's got five touchdowns throwing. He's also got four picks. So there's a little just stopping pattern right there. Gets the easy yards. Third and seven, we're bringing a blitz. Getting to him, yes sir! Huge blitz, we get contact. And now's not the time, it's third and 19. This is a long shot play. I'm just gonna go ahead and just roll out the dice and try to get something uh, with the blockers and just try to make it a, a more manageable punt. 
And again, I'm not going to lose my mind if y'all want to keep doing these little dink downs and use all the clock. We'll hold you to a field goal if we can help it. And they're going to bubble out, it looks like, maybe. Back to the end zone, and I just usered a mistake. I couldn't... That's a bad user on my part. Bad user. So, a, a negative, and a, then another negative. A penalty puts us back second and 17. Good grief. We have nothing as we throw a duck. So, a third and 17. And this has just been an abysmal drive for us. Oh, baby. We have a wide open. Let's go, Haas. Let's go. Huge play. And again, we can now take our time. We are getting closer to field goal range. We just need to take our time, follow our blocks, take care of the ball, get ourselves set up to work the clock out. And I really think if we can get to about the 20, this could be a, a cakewalk kick to win this thing. So we're just going to keep staying patient. The Binion follow the block down to the 28. They don't call their time out there. So now third and two. They're saving those timeouts as best they can. We're working that clock as best we can. A first down here would be amazing. We get it. And they call their second. All right. We call it our last timeout or a timeout period. We have a 19 yarder point blank here to get the win. And walk off hogs. We win the golden boot here from LSU at home. And we get it done here. Our second trophy game this year. Let's go, baby. Shipley, absolute clutch for the Hogs as we get our first big win today. We needed it. We got it. And that's exactly what the Hogs ordered up. And we can celebrate now here with the Hogs faithful battle for the Golden Boot. We get our 25th win in the series against LSU. And now it's back home where it belongs in Fayetteville. And look at Marquise Robinson, player of the game. Two picks and a TD. Huge game for Marquise Robinson. And that is it. Hogs get the win. Now we had some big recruits coming to that game and we got a commit. Charleston, Arkansas's Adonis Willett, outside backer. Welcome to Fayetteville as well as Tyler Mandarino, one of the four star big halfbacks coming to Fayetteville now. Anybody else? No, just those two, but we got two brand new com commits in to Fayetteville. That is massive. These two have committed and uh, we've also hit the top three now for uh, Kite or Knight, whatever you want to call him, Kroom, still dominating there for him, as well as these other commits. We're doing a really good job. Unfortunately, John Free committed to Texas Tech, and Hook has committed over to Arizona. Marquise Robinson gets Player of the Week for the SEC. Three tackles, two picks, and a pick six. And he got National Player of the Week as well. What a week for him, the senior cornerback. Congrats. All right, we got some coach points to spend here, so we're going to go ahead and continue to up these right now and i think we haven't done much to our receiving core right now or our backers or defensive linemen i think really defensive linemen could be huge so let's go give two points to that that helps their change of direction and pursuit as well as their finesse move and block shedding that's gonna be big and eventually i want to unlock some of these other tiers here so one that we're getting a little bit closer on is architect we need two more rival wins and spend 25 points in motivator um motivator we unlock just through a player leveling up, we can, I guess, unlock that at any point. It costs 10. Uh, talent developer is going to be a good one, I think, to get, as well as recruiter. Maybe we'll look at that. So let me know which of these other trees we should go down. Strategist, recruiter, talent developer, motivator, or architect. Which of those should we unlock next when we get the chance? So after that big win, here's a look at the top 25 now with Oregon. You have Oregon, Michigan, and Louisville, the top three, followed by Texas, Penn State, and so forth. But we got to get ready for Mississippi State, the five and two. We got to go on the road, hopefully get our third SEC conference win. So here we are from Starkville, Mississippi, taking on Dak Prescott's Mississippi State Bulldogs. The cowbells are, they're going, <laughs> they're going. And this is not going to be an easy test. It's an unranked Mississippi State, but a dangerous Mississippi State and we're coming off a big win but we're playing on the road in the SEC and that's always a tough thing to do and tough place to win and here we go they're not a ranked uh, stadium but they're still going to be a tough place to win anyways so here we go with a little run for Johnson or Jackson and he's going to pick up seven on first oh man first down here we're going to pull 
And Taylor Green showing some speed. Getting the edge, and it's a foot race now. Taylor Green showing you the 91 that he's there. It's going to be a touchdown for the Hogs. Breakaway speed. Achievement. A 50 yard rushing touchdown. First one we've got. And we take the early lead here on the road. Wow. And dual thread. Nice. We got two two achievements. So a third and four for the Bulldogs here on their first possession offensively. We're gonna go outside and wide open. I mean soft spot of the zone, nobody home, and he breaks through. Wow, what a play there from Blake Sharpen. So here we go. We gotta get pressure on the QB boys. Gotta get pressure on the QB, get it out of his hand quick. Get it out of there quick. He's caught on the run, but it's not enough. Fourth and one. They're kind of in that no man's land. So here we go now. Fourth and one. Do they run it here? Do they run it? They are. They're going to run it, and he's got it easy. And tackled. We're going to bring pressure here and hope it works out. Bring pressure here. They're going to go on the ground, and he's nowhere, baby. Nowhere. So the defense stands up strong. We're going to force him to a field goal. It's middle right here, so it shouldn't be difficult at all, and it's going to be easy. 7-3. First and 10. We've got a little play action here. See if we can get somebody open. Oh, boy. What the heck did I just do? What did I just do? 7-3 so lead as we open up now quarter two. Come on now. Get the stop. Get the stop. Get the stop. Get the stop. Yes, sir. Fourth and three. Let's make him kick another field goal. And we can live with that. And that's going to be middle. First and ten. We're going to go out of the gun and cut back with... Jackson as he's going to get across for the first down. Ran into his own man, but he finally got it. First and ten. We're going to go a little jet sweep fake action here. Wide open. Hit our halfback as he leaps and makes a great catch. So we got some stuff moving and grooving now offensively here. And... Why... I'm trying to throw the pattern. I'm assuming he's about to plant his foot and it just kept... That's just my bad. I threw it too early into the route tree. That's my bad. Third and one. I'll see if they're going to go here on this one. I'm going to run it. They're going to go right up the seam, and he picks up the first easily. Third down, ladies and gentlemen. And one. I know y'all want to run it. Y'all always run it on third and one. There's the option, and it's perfect. And a big hit from Clark yet again. Don't matter, though. Third and seven. We need to stop here. There's a delayed handoff on that draw, and we blow it up! Oh my goodness. So first down and 10 for us. They're bringing a blitz, man. Go. Pick up that block. Come on, Dubinion. Keep running, big fella. Whoop. Nice play. Third and 10 for us here. We had not much going after that first easy completion we got. Let's just check it down here. Wilson picks up a block with a nice spin. First and goal. Third down and goal. Do we have it in us to make this play happen? I don't know. Nope. Nope. And they're going to... We get fumble it? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. So, third and ten. We're going to go touch pass. Just try to get something moving. And we go sideways. They call a timeout. It is what it is. Here we go. We got to get a stop here. Got to get a stop here. Got to get a stop here. And... That ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna freaking cut it. Third and one. Come on, D. It's the stop. Get us the stop. Get us the stop. I threw it to the end zone. Tug. Dang. So here we are. Fourth and one. We need a stop here on this. They're gonna pitch. No, it's a turnover on downs. We get the big stop we need. Here we go. First and ten. And go green. Go green. Do your thing. Green, you're a menace. Let's go. So, a huge third down for us. Third and ten. It's been a good drive, but now things are going to get interesting here. we got to check down the Jackson. He's going to have to try to make some guys miss. Fourth and one. I'm going to try to go on the ground in the inside zone. Yes, sir. Nice juke back outside, and that's a first down in the quarter. We're going to the fourth, trailing by six. Third and four. Oh my gosh, run. Outrun him in the pocket. Not going to get it. Fourth down and five. And they want us to go for it. So we don't get anything there. Now it's a fourth and five. We have really no choice but to go for it here, don't we? 
Get in. Let's go. Redeem yourself for the drop. Come on. Wilson gets it this time. Not depending on that one. And we take back and now get a one point away from a lead. All right. So it's a one point advantage, Hogs. Fourth quarter. We need a defensive stop here. I'd love to get a takeaway. If we can help it, right? If we can help it. The problem is they stretch out so far, it's hard. Here we go. It's third and 18 now. And we're all over him. He's tackled way back. It's a loss of 10. Huge play. So at this point, we have 5.08 remaining. We are trying to just take care of the ball and walk out of Starkville with a one-point win if we can help it. Second and one. Get a first down here. I'll take us down to the two-minute warning. And we'll take that. Whoop. Whoop. Let's go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Everybody pressing coverage on us. They know what's up. They know what's up. We're not trying to do anything but run the ball down your throat, pick up first downs, and kneel this thing out. So second and two. Get the first down here, and it's over. Get the first down here. It's over. First and goal. Ball game, baby. Ball game. I could punch it in to probably get a touchdown if I want to, but I think we just want to get the win and not risk it. And we got it done. 14-13. The Hogs get back-to-back -back SEC wins now here. And on the road especially, we got one more left for today's episode with Ole Miss. And as you see, Taylor Green wasn't perfect today, but a good outing. Gets it done on both the air and the ground. Excellent performance. All right, we're getting ready for week 10. Here you see some of the updates for our board for the recruits. Gabe Lux now in his top three. We are second behind AM. Coffee is in his top eight. We are still first. Johnson's in his top eight. We're way behind Texas, but currently second. And Magnifico, we are first on right now on his board. And Eric Gregory selected as SEC Player of the Week with five tackles for a loss this week. Incredible for him. Well, let's take a look at the college football landscape. Louisville, top five, they survive our close one with Boston College. Looking at the college football top 25, it's Michigan, Oregon, Texas, Notre Dame, Louisville, Ohio State with two losses in the top 10 still. And you can see out some of the rest of them here. Four and four, Texas A&M, I would say is very iffy on where they should be. Also four and four, Oklahoma. Not quite sure they deserve to be in that top 25. And four and four, Ole Miss as well. Um, that's interesting. Looking at the conference standings for our conference here in the SEC now. Again, no longer split up anymore. So we are in the middle of the pack here. Three and two. Um, we got a chance to get a win here against Ole Miss, who's down towards the bottom at one and three. So if we can get that win, I push us to four and two, and we'll be sniffing towards the top in the top four spots. Only right now, here's a look at the college football bracket, the bracket for the playoff, the 12 team bracket for year one. Let me know what surprises you see here. Uh, I can already spot one for sure, and that would be Memphis and Rutgers in there. That's awesome for those programs, but shocking to me. But here we are from Fable. Our wrap-up up game today for this episode. We've won the first two. Can we get a clean sweep in, the, in today's episode? It's going to have to go through Ole Miss, and this is always a tough game with the Hogs. There's so many great finishes in this series between these two programs. But it's a beautiful day. Let's go ahead and make it a clean sweep on today's episode. Third and nine for the Rebs. And we're going to go inside. They're going to go handoff. Uh, not what I would have expected on that play. So first down goes backwards. We need to see if we can get Satanga back going here on this jet sweep. Touch pass. We get a block. We got two. And now it's time for speed. Put on the boosters. He is quick. He is spinning. He is making everybody miss 69 yards on the pass and run. First and goal for the Hogs. And the offense is already going in the end zone. Jackson in. And it's going to be 6 nothing Hogs. Second and 13. And we're there. And Landon Jackson's arm tackles is broken. They get a chunk there. And Bentley the fourth. He's hurt now on that play. So it's a third and eight for the Rebs. And we're bringing pressure. He's going to catch it, but not there. Fourth and three. So here we go. First and ten hogs. And there's man pressure coming through here. I am going to throw that pattern up. Go get it, fella. Armstrong's got three Rebels chasing. He's in the end zone. Touchdown for the Razorbacks. And this guy is just prolific. 
So third and inches here. Watch a bubble or a handoff. I don't know where they're going to go with this. And we're there. Fourth down. Let's go, D. That's coverage over on Armstrong on your far left. Let's see. And, yep, he beat him again. He beat him again. Touchdown, Hogs. He is insane, guys. You don't press coverage him. You should know. Hit the Heisman pose, Armstrong. Hit it. So they got some stuff going on here in the backfield right now. First and 10. And Landon Jackson's not going to let anything else happen there. And run outside. And, no, oh, sir, Gregory says, where are you going? It's a third down and long. They're going to go option. And he didn't get enough. Fourth and two. What do they do? So we're here quarter two. 21-0 Razorbacks, y'all. That is not a mistake. And Green's going to take off running. Green picks up a huge chunk of yards. Second and ten. We're going to get some mountain swing action going on here. And everybody leaves that area. So, of course, we're going to take that chunk. And that's a first down. Down to the ten. So we're going to try to hit the toss here to Jackson. See if he has the speed. We got the block. We got everything we need, baby. Let's go. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And that is going to make it now a four-score lead here at home. So a third down and in inches here. And they're going to go run it again. He picks up the first. And Sore Jr. hurt on the play. Hope that's nothing severe for one of our best defensive players this year. First and ten here for the Rebels. They've got something going. Got some momentum on this series, on this drive. You better, you better fall. Golly, he took that and got going. So first and goal now for Ole Miss. They're just really playing well on this possession so far. And Gregory's trying to punch that out. And they don't get much there. Big opportunity here for us. Big play opportunity here for us. And they're going to bubble out. He gets one block, but not enough. Fourth down. Wow. So it's a fourth and goal. They're going to get their first opportunity at points on the board here. And it should be a pretty easy kick, and he's going to put it through. So let's check out this injury. Nothing for us. Um, now, they do have a couple for them, but we haven't had any injury issues. I will say I think injuries so far this year have been... Uh, they're not they're not happening all too often in my experience. Let me know what you all have experienced in terms of injuries so far with this year's game because I haven't seen it very much. And I see press coverage. You know how I feel about this. We'll see what that safety does. He shades that side. We're going to dump it down to B. Tesla now going to make a move happen. He makes it third and five. Here we go. All right. Dominion, you got to get downhill now, man. Look at that. Cutting through the defense. Easy play. Oh, Armstrong, please. Please burn him. Please burn him. He did. He did burn him. Please get it. Another one. This guy is insane. Insane. That's his third, is it not? The hat trick. First and ten. I know you are going to pass it. No question about it. And he's got a tight end across the middle for a huge gainer. Man, I I, I should have had that pick on that leaping grab. We were going to use our slaughter now here. They're going to run it. And okay, that's fine by me. Not hurting my feelings one bit doing that. Keeps the clock moving here. Third down and 12. Dual back. They're going to send the left back out. And pressure coming, and uh, we will call a timeout now. All right, we're going to heave one up. They got press coverage, and you know how that is. Press coverage with our guys. Oftentimes is pay dirt. Is this one? No, it almost was. Man. Second and seven here. Shakes one, breaks through that sack, and we have open field, and Taylor Green's going to show you a little bit of action there. Wow. So we have a third and 21 after a 10-yard sack and all, and a loss of one the next play. Here we go. Let's see if anybody gets open, and I already see A open. And wide open. Wide open, sir. <laughs> I mean, Taylor Green just torching the secondary. It's like not even funny. Not even funny end zone. Power through. Let everybody know in the crowd. We're putting the SEC on notice right at this point. So 42 to 6. And so y'all know we are still on Heisman. Nothing's changed there. It's all I mean, I don't know. 
Oh, wow. Uh, well, Heisman just said I can I can humble you. Don't take much. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You can have one. So Ole Miss had a touchdown last possession. They probably feel pretty good about themselves now after that. Let's see what they do here on this one. They got a guy open right there. I see him. And one on one. And why are we so far off? What the crap are we doing in the secondary? Rumble! Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! Dad gum! Thank you. And Taylor, Green, Taylor Green may be having a career best day. I don't know what his best is, but he's over 400 yards passing, y'all. I don't know if he's had one like that ever, but that's insane as Jackson pushing forward. I'm going a little option action here. Let's see how this looks. And we're going to pitch it out to Dominion. He's going to get it across first and goal. And again, we're trying to put the nail in the coffin here with a touchdown. And we have a guy here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Touchdown, Hogs. And I think that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge performance for this Razorback offense. It was a rout here in Fayetteville. They have won three straight. And heading into our last three games of the regular season, the outlook on this team has dramatically shifted. Taylor Green, 456 yards passing, four touchdowns. Armstrong, he, he was insane as well. We'll look at his stats here in just a second. But this offense was incredible. As we look at the stats here today, Green was great. But let's get to the receiving numbers here. It was all about Armstrong. Andrew Armstrong, four for 195 with three tutties. 72 is the long, incredible effort from this Hogs offense. The Hogs are 6-3, and three, bowl eligible, 4-2 and two in the conference, and that's where we're going to leave it today. Next episode, we'll finish off this regular season. Hopefully, the Hogs can keep their winning ways going.